Why did it not work with Josh McDaniels and the Cleveland Browns? I just think, I mean, McDaniels has, he wants to do a Belichick thing. You know, that's number one. Now, this you mean with control of yeah. what he what Analytics he aside or whatever, I yeah. happen to be very guarded on people who want to do that, especially when they tried it one other time and it didn't go well. Right. And I'm sure that, um, I mean, the back of your mind, if you're the Browns, you know, you're insecure to begin with. And yet... Okay, so I, I get rid of the be pedestrian and everything. I said, what, this guy changes his mind again? I mean, you want to think it's not going to happen? Right, but you, you don't know. It's the Browns. <laughs> I mean, you, you're afraid. Now, does that mean you have to go into Stefanski's camp or anywhere else? But I, and I will go back to, again, after that, this is the first actual interview he's had since he backed out of that job in 18. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, there's baggage. There's, yeah, there's there no is. question about now, what do you make? Flip side, by the way. Okay. Brilliant on offense. He is. Because Belichick, you always got to watch Belichick's defensive coordinators, you know, because Bill, right. Bill doesn't do much with the offense, you know. Uh, so the plays you see, the way they've been able with a makeshift offensive line some years and these, you know, receivers that weren't doing anything, that's Tom. The play calling is Tom. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, that's not just Tom Brady, rather. It's it's also Josh McDaniels. I had an old guy's moment because, of course, Tom McDaniels, Tom McDaniels is, is a legendary Tom. father and coach. But in other words, that's a McDaniels-Brady production. And the fact, too, that, you know, you could have a breakup with a stock quarterback in all those years, too, and they could. didn't. Absolutely. Right, what do you make of the stories that have been running rampant about Jimmy Haslam demanding that uh, the, the head coach, whoever was going to be, meets with him on Friday mornings or afternoons to go over the game plan. That makes everybody look silly for yeah. starters, if it in fact is true. So what do you get from that? I mean, that? some of these are going to be true and some not. Because the other thing, too, when guys don't get jobs, their agents go to work and kind of pass out stories to the media. This is why they didn't do it. Um, one of the things I know that's fairly common with some owners and, and that is uh, on Mondays, the head coach or GM would generally meet with an owner on kind of what happened during the game. Right. Well, they that's would understandable. Carve an hour out. That is understandable. If I owned the team, you know, I'd want to hear and you know that again. I'm not going. But I wouldn't want to know you, the Friday before no, what the game I don't, plan is. You should not be in the minutia of the game plan. 